Yo YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now something a little different for this video, although we do cover retro gaming on this channel, I thought it'd only be fitting that we cover a film based on an iconic retro gaming icon, and that is of course Sonic the Hedgehog. Quick stretch, little snack, and here we go. Sonic, I love that you want to help make a difference. Mind if I drive? No. Being reckless. Don't worry, nobody's gonna get hurt. Pretending to be Batman. Blue Justice, trademark pending. You're still just a kid. Trust me, there will come a moment when your powers will be needed. <laughs> but you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses you. I just got goosebumps. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? We're fresh out of the cinema today, and I'm glad to say that me and Jack absolutely loved it. The film is fantastic. Uh, let's dig into it a little. The voice acting is probably the best part of the film. Idris Elba as Knuckles, absolutely amazing. He plays the part to a T. Yeah, I make this look good. Oh, great. The Winter Soldier. Sonic Psychic Tales also appears in this film as well. And he's actually voiced by the voice actor who played him in the original games, which is quite a cute little nod to it. Uh, did your butt just turn into a helicopter? <laughs> a bloodcopter. Jim Carrey is back as Dr. Robotnik, and his performance again is spectacular. Papa's got a brand new stash. Much like you couldn't imagine anyone else other than Robert Downey Jr. playing Iron Man. I couldn't imagine anybody else playing a Dr. Robotnik quite as good as Jim Carrey. In this film, he gets to go full tilt as well, seeing as he's been left on an island for 200 odd days alone. So he's gone a little bit even nuttier than the first one. Jim Carrey, spot on performance. Absolutely amazing. All the little nods and Easter eggs um, to the games is just incredible for someone who grew up with Sonic playing it on the Mega Drive back in the early 90s, uh, all the way through all the games, 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles and beyond. Uh, this was just fantastic. Everybody in the cinema seemed to enjoy it. It's a great family fun film. Uh, I would highly recommend it. And if you are going to go and watch a film this Easter, Sonic 2, couldn't recommend it more. But let's get a verdict from someone who the film's main target audience would be, I would say. So, Jack, you want to stay in where? In this video. You want to stay in this video, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay, man, yeah, yeah. Okay, Jack. So, what did you enjoy about the Sonic film? And would you recommend it? I liked it. Yeah. And I liked the part with... Yeah. When Sonic versus Knuckles. Oh, yeah, yeah, when they have the big fight, yeah. Yeah. No spoilers in that bit, I don't think, because that's all in the trail. All oh, right, yeah. I liked his tails as well. Yeah. Because he flies. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got two tails, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you know tails from the games, because you've played some yeah. of the games, haven't you? Cool. Yeah, yeah. So, who was your favourite character in the film? I like Sonic. Sonic's your favourite character? Yeah. Well, I suppose that's a bit of a given, really, isn't it? Uh, okay, well, I think down to the uh, most important part, what would you give the film out of 10? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? <laughs> that's some, that's some, uh, that's a big score, that. 10 out of 10. I'm sure you said 9 earlier. No, you only gave it a 9 earlier. Mm. And what did you say? You only gave, you gave it a 9 because you only like the, which, <gasps> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Daddy! Uh, well, anyway, you enjoyed it, yeah? We had a great time. You'd watch it again? You'd recommend it to everybody out there? Yeah? Okay, so, Jack's verdict, 10 out of 10. We'll go with that. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace! Peace. <laughs>